we're going to go down his inside take out the bollard and uh, yes we can so that's 13th place here at least what the team are happy right now of us being in 13 questions how long can Rosberg uh, be held up by Harry Anza because that's good for us if he's getting held up by the Indonesian touched him there no nope, he didn't get a penalty for it though Let's try utmost hardest here just to, to try and keep hold of these positions there goes Palmer there goes Rosberg they both taken over us they both got DRS we're gonna try and nick it around Palmer's inside I believe I've got that down and somehow I've, I've managed to swoop round his outside and no points but it's a good drive for us we finish 11 in Catalonia What's going on, Zenon Turkey? Welcome back to another video on my channel. This is Evan 2016 Career Mode, episode 6. This is how the driver's standing close at the moment. I'm in third place, 27 points behind the current leader, Lewis Hamilton. I've got 70 points, and obviously, in the last episode, did see me finish 11th in Spain. Anyway, we are in Monaco this weekend on Valentine's Day. Uh, let's see how we get on. When I mean this weekend, I mean weekend in a race. Anyway, let's get into qualifying. Let's have a look where the team wants me to finish and all that. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can have a better weekend than we did have in Spain. Um, not picking up any points. So my qualifying goals for the Monaco Grand Prix is to finish 14 for higher. Make sure we out-qualify Sebastian Vettel after we did lose our first rivalry against him. And of course, beat our teammate Roman Grosjean. So, with that further ado, let's get into the first qualifying round of the Monaco Grand Prix weekend and hope we can get out of Q1 because we have done in all the previous episodes of this series so far. So, we're on a flying lap right now, just on the warmer part of the lap. We're using the ultra soft tyres, one of the new tyres that have been added to the game this year. So we're getting control of the car, and uh, yep, now I am. So, yeah, I've not actually driven around Monaco at all before recording um, this video and uh, doing this uh, weekend so this should be very interesting to see how I get on and one of my strong tracks but of course it is one of the best tracks in terms of the scenery and how you know cool, pretty cool the track is in F1 so um, let's see how we do on the ultra soft tires when our first run here in qualifying one we should be able to get out of it we always have been able to in this series so far and hopefully we can get out of Q2 as we did obviously fail to do that in Catalonia and after the Monaco Grand Prix weekend, we'll be heading off to Azerbaijan for next uh, week's episode of this series. So, I've got Perez ahead of me right here. I would like to get past him. I don't want him to be held up behind him and uh, make him adhere to me getting a good lap time in. Verline setting what is sort of the benchmark so far, and that's been that by Danny Kvyat. Drivers are just going to be setting up for front and center at the moment, just trying to get uh, a time on the board so if we are stuck behind Perez I'm not going to be too bothered um, I think we'll probably have to go on another run if this is going to be the case just being stuck behind someone because you know more than likely you will find yourself stuck behind someone um, it's a very small track in that in that aspect and uh, I did just clip up my front wing there so that could exactly we don't um, as I was saying uh, slight issue I had there, tend to always have it in that particular part of the track. Anyway, that aside, we set for our first lap time here a 120.9 and oh my. What happened? Let me know you're okay. What happened? Well, um, yeah, that happened, pal. Um, let me do a flashback. I, I am able to use them. We're, we're still going to be setting the same lap time. Bum over the rich mix and just take it easily, easy actually. Um, stay away from the curb, uh, and uh, yeah, we'll find this time around. I'll head back to the garage now, see how that time fares, and where I'll have to go out for another run. I probably will have to because I was four seconds off Rosberg's time, and they got to spend a, a, a bit of time repairing my light front wing damage that occurred on the car. So we are currently now fall where we we are not currently we are falling down the uh, leaderboard somewhat. So yeah, definitely gonna have to go out uh, again for another flying lap. Uh, it is necessary, and uh, yeah, I mean I don't want to sit in the garage and uh, go out in the first qualifying session, be right to the back of the grid because that's not where you want to be starting um, this Grand Prix and this race. Sorry. So they're gonna give me control of the car now. And uh, we've got a lot of work to do. We are, 
uh, last at the moment behind Ericsson and NASA, the two Saubers, and we do have a lot of work to do, and we need to put in a much better lap time than we uh, initially did on our first run, but we were stuck behind Paris, and maybe that did um, contribute somewhat to the rather slow lap time we did put in, but let's not get bogged down by that or anything now, we have to put a good lap in on what's our, going to be our second run now of this Q1 session here in Monaco. Love is lovely, and uh, let's see if we can turn in a lovely lap time. Thank you very much, boss, but I do believe that we are okay in terms of uh, a storm front appearing, and uh, yeah, it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Although, it might in a race, who knows. We've seen that a few uh, times this series so far. It's been nice and qualifying. Come race day, it's completely different weather uh, system coming into force. Last saw a bit better uh, than the first one did. Got nobody in front of us. The track's pretty empty right now. Everyone's at the moment just in in, in the pit lane, uh, waiting for their time to come out. I think we did pick a good time to come out. But yeah, I mean, I am last, so we, I'm slower than everyone, not just Roman Grosjean. I, I'm not so keen on that part right there. Um, go for what what is that? I believe the Nobel chicane. Um, so that's something that we need to work on because we are losing a lot of uh, time through there. Anyway, we've entered the DRS zone, got our rich mix. Let's see where this puts us. Is it going to be an improvement or not? And it fortunately isn't, and we are still 22nd out of 20 seconds. So, uh, work still to do, and uh, we can't be content where we are at the moment. Gotta get out of Q2. Uh, Q1, sorry, be <laughs> quite embarrassing if we don't. And I think, I think I've got a me to, you know, set a good lap time here. We are on expert difficulty, I had to bump it up to that uh, after what was a Chinese Grand Prix, I do believe, after they didn't win that race. I think, in, in remembering um, what happened. And uh, yeah, we finished 11th, obviously, in Catalonia. And, uh, uh, you know, hopefully that doesn't become a factor and uh, be implemented into this weekend where we finish in the same position. Managed to do a bit better through there than I did in the last lap. Felt a bit more fluid, fluid, and it felt like it went a bit better. Wasn't as nervous going through there. And there's always that constant worry, though, to be honest. Um, hitting the wall, losing a bit of your barrier, or losing a bit of your framing on your car, you know. Something that does worry me. Uh, we go through there, but uh, we still won 20.3, but even though we did beat our original lap, and we are still 3.9 seconds off the pace and where we need to be. So, yeah, it's going to have to be a fourth run, I believe, now in in this first Q1 session, really struggling to get out of, out of this position. It's a, a very competitive lap time. And uh, yeah, yeah, we're just going to have to put a lot of work in, in, into improving this. Uh, somewhat of a abysmal performance so far. I hate to be starting at the back of the grid as well. But I suppose one positive, if we do finish in a position like this, we will be able to choose the tie combat that we do start on and get a fresh set of boots, so to speak, for the race. Yeah, obviously finishing in the top 10 and getting to Q3, you have to start the race on the tie you set your fastest lap on. That's why um, in the previous episode, I started on a tie to set my quickest lap on, or not in the previous episode, the one before that, in Q3. So, yeah, there's that. Did get a warning just then for exceeding track limits. Um, so, definitely something to, to be uh, well aware of. Oh, I have a uh, puncture on my back tyre. Oh no. You've got a puncture. Yeah. I've got a puncture. This could be me starting 20 seconds. Oh, uh, sealed now. I've got damage to the car as well. On top of uh, a puncture. So, as I'm going this slowly, it's not that I've run out of fuel or anything. So we said it won 29.9, and yeah, nowhere near competitive where we should be. Damage to the front uh, wing might pretty much seal our fate and, and uh, say we're going to be finishing in uh, 20, what, second out of 22. I'm going to go on another, another flying lap. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to set it or anything, because it was four minutes after the session before. I um, pitted to, to, to sort out the issues I had with my car, so... Um, yeah, I don't know how long's left we've got. We've got, we've got 15 seconds left. We're going to have to quickly get to the line or we are pretty much stuffed in terms of 
being able to sort of sell a, a lap here. Boom, we, yeah, we, we are going to get there in time, only just. But we have been uh, given a one final chance then to try and set a better lap than we have, have done so far this weekend. And this is pretty much make or break now. We've done a, a good lap here and we are out in Q1 the first time this will possibly happen in this series so far. And it's not one of my strongest tracks, so I did expect something like this occurring. Qualifying is over then. So, like I said, no other chance to set a faster lap. Uh, and uh, I'm in a fangle lap. I'm, I'm, I'm able to finish the lap I'm on even when the timer's run out. Because on previous F1 games, when the timer was out and you was on the lap line, you were stuffed. And, uh, yeah. Thankfully, that isn't something that uh, is implemented into this game. Clean through there, which is good to see. Again, to the part of the track where I'm not uh, a huge fan of and where I do tend to lose time. You just gotta go flat out, really, but I'm a bit cautious. And uh, the thing that the caution that I'm taking through there has cost me a lot of time in this Q1 session. Kept in Rich Mix, we've got plenty of fuel to do that. DRS zone, we have entered up into Rich Mix. Let's see how we do, let's see where we end up. And it's 22nd out of 22nd, oh my. Absolute disaster that was in terms of that qualifying session. Gorjan gets 11th place, so I, um, I, I'm guessing this is the final position where everyone's going to be starting. We set a 119.6, but even uh, them after reading the 120 lap time where we did set, we were still 3.4 seconds off the pace. So, um, of course, I'm concerned that was right there. Not the best of qualifying sessions we have had this series so far, but I'll back goes in a second. Let's see our race goals. Uh, we need to obviously try and meet for the race after that abysmal qualifying session. But that leads the rivalry down 7.30 for him and 2.30 for me, so definitely have work to do in uh, the race. Driver position now, finished 14 higher, failed, and obviously we did lose out to Roman Grosjean. We are obviously the first driver as well now after finding out that we have been promoted to that position after the end of the Catalonia race in the last episode. Let's listen to my voicemail and see my race goals from my agent. Hi, it's Emma here. Just wanted to let you know what the team are hoping for in the race. So they want to finish uh, 17 or above for me, and they've placed higher in the race than Sebastian Vettel and beat Roman Grosjean. And as it always has been in the series so far, our driver championship target is to finish 15th or above. So, after we reviewed, let's get into the race in Monaco, and uh, we are starting at the back of the group for the first time in this series. Long way since the first Grand Prix of the early 20th century. We have faster cars, bigger circuits, highly trained drivers who dedicated their lives to racing. But still, we return here. Still, it remains the most desired victory in Formula One. Still, we race the Monaco Grand Prix. So before the off, let's remind ourselves of yesterday's... No need to do that. Anyway, it's overcast weather for today's race. We are starting on the ultra soft tyres. We are at the back of the grid the first time this has happened for the whole series. And we are behind Felipe Nasa. It's lights out and away we go then here in Monaco, hoping for a good uh, race, even though we are at the back of the grid. It should be quite fun. Yeah, illegal for overtake on Harianto. I did assume that that was going to be the case. Did have to let um, him and Magnussen through, but we are after 17, so we are currently uh, matching where the team want me to finish in this race and at 17 more above. Everyone's going to be pretty bunched up at the moment, so um, it could be quite difficult to get a, a few overtakes in, and um, it could be quite difficult for me to actually behave myself because I've just smashed into the back of Magnuson and uh, already ruined my race. Let's try this again. Going down his inside, I'm going down Harry Anto's inside, and took it over him in uh, Catalonia. This is something that will always be happening. Really? Two seconds half pounds with Grosjean? I didn't do anything. Um, okay. This is the issue going around somewhere like um, Monaco. This is unbearable, literally. Unbearable. I pretty much hold up all the guys right there. Change strategy. Um, keep current. 
Yellow flag up ahead. Oh my god, what the heck's gone on here? Okay. Well, I think the best thing for me to possibly do in this situation is to just restart the race, because this is absolute chaos. Right, hopefully we can actually have a clean start to this race here, and we are away for the second time in this race in Monaco. Don't know what happened right there. Everyone just managed to get into a huge, huge mess, and um, that is literally the only way we're going to be able to take two one properly without really messing up anyone's uh, race. Yeah, minor damage to the front wing, but um, nothing too drastic at the moment. Slight altercation we have with Button, but uh, other than that, it's been, a, it's been a clean race so far. We probably shouldn't be launching it down the inside of these drivers, but I do want to try and get as many positions uh, up as possible. And I obviously do want to earn some points this race. Marcus Ericsson is out uh, of the race on the first lap here in Monaco. And we are currently in 11th place in front of Fernando Alonso and behind the Mexican Sergio Perez. So managed to take over 12 cars so far on this lap. Most of them cleanly, I, I would say. We have behaved ourselves. But at um, least we, we, we've almost reached the end of the first lap. Because that first attempt was absolutely chaotic to say the least. I'm already seeing a huge train falling behind me, uh, and, Ham and uh, Hamilton's done the last lap of the race right there, and Perez, sorry, um, already getting massive amount of time on me, so it might just be another case of we need to hold on to P11 and uh, just hope that uh, Alonso doesn't try, try and launch from down our inside or something, or hope the cars in front of us have some sort of kerfuffle and we are able to get past them. So, well, actually, we've got into the top 10. I don't know how, maybe Ericsson was in the top 10. Or maybe someone pitted because uh, we were 11, but we are now 10th and we are on for some points, which is nice to see. Because uh, it, it was standing at uh, two consecutive races with no points, but someone's obviously had a bit of an issue or perhaps had to pit. Or maybe Ericsson was in the top 10, and I am now up in the 10th place here in Monaco on uh, what is not a, much of a nice day as it was in qualifying. Gonna bump up to Rich just for this tunnel section on a track. Alonso is right behind us, so can't really afford to be um, taking it easy. I'm sure he's very keen to get past me, so the other drivers behind me. Got a bit more on my front wing right there, so I'm gonna make it even more difficult for myself. But uh, at least we don't have to, he's not telling me to pit or anything. Hamilton again is setting another fastest lap of this race. He's probably just going to start setting there for fun, knowing him. Leave it on, well, put it back up to Rich, sorry, until we get to the end of this straight. DRS now available, as my engineer just told me. Alonso still behind me, and a few a couple of cars behind him as well. Still probably very good to get past him and myself. But we are currently still holding on to what is a point here in Monaco and a point is better than nothing um, and it would be pr a, pr a very good drive I reckon considering we did start from 22nd on the grid but we're not there yet we're not there yet at all go for the tunnel then put it up to Rich Mix now because these guys are right behind me and uh, can't afford to leave it on standard revs for now I'll be back under standard I think we can pretty much guarantee that we're not getting past Sergio Perez, he's miles ahead of us all. We can really hope in terms of getting higher than 10th place is uh, someone having a bit of an issue of some sort at uh, the front of the grid or something like that. Rosberg this time setting the fastest lap of the race, the Mercedes now uh, trading fastest lap times. Um, that would probably have been us if I didn't bump it up to expert, but this is definitely more exciting than it being on um, normal or me medium, which is obviously the same thing. Anyway, but back up to Rich Mixers. Alonso does have DRS on us. He's probably going to want to go for a maneuver. And uh, I don't know, was that my fault? Um, or is that his fault? I will obviously use the flashback that I do have to um, get myself back into the race. I think it's probably my fault. I probably did, did come across him yet. Only myself to blame there, putting myself and the Lonzo after the race. Thankfully, we do have a flashback to use. 
and um, we're going to use that right here. There we are. Wouldn't put it in Rich Mix fast enough, and he got an extraordinary exit out of that corner, but. No such worries that time around, and uh, he is still behind us, though, as we enter the penultimate lap of this race here in Monaco. Like my engineer said, it was like seven seconds to perils or something, so it's it's a matter it's a matter of uh, basically, like I said earlier on, a matter of holding on to this position now and just hoping that Alonso doesn't try another audacious attempt like that to try and get down our inside or something. Been a fun race, though. And uh, been a pretty uh, fun episode. Obviously, it wasn't as exciting as it should have been with us finishing uh, 20 seconds and at the right to the back of the grid, but it has provided us with some great entertainment. Well, I mean, I, I've, I've been 10 now since like lap two, pal. So uh, you know, I'm not really sure what you've been watching. I believe we're ahead of Grosjean as well, so that's another uh, plus one that we can add on top of beating him this weekend, which would be nice. But I've not seen him or anything. We are indeed. Gone a bit wide there, and Alonso will go for the manoeuvre. Although, we're going to go neck and neck here. I think I've got a better exit than him there, and uh, have managed to be able to hold on. 10 place now, he's got Hulkenberg now coming at him. I can't just respectfully quicken both of ours, but we do manage to hold on to P10 right now. Uh, well, four now, sorry. As we enter now, what is the final lap of this race here in Monaco? Hugging the. Uh, Corner a bit too much there, I was. Not a great uh, fan of that corner. Not a big fan either. Which uh, which is the exact same thing that I've just said. Anyway, I reckon if we uh, did, did more than five laps, we'd be seeing some rain coming into play in this race because it does look like it will, might might start raining actually. Didn't actually put up to, uh, up to uh, Rich for that part of the track right there, which I probably should have because um, it's got Alonso right over my backside now. I went a bit wide through there. He's still behind me. As this goes on, Lewis Hamilton is the winner of this race. And uh, he's probably going to extend his lead over myself and Rosberg in the driver standings even more than it initially was. I believe Rosberg has got second place as well, so I'm probably now losing what was uh, left of me staying in third place. Anyway. Let's not get bugged down for that for now. We finish in 10th place for the Monaco Grand Prix. At least we were able to pick up a point. Not a bad uh, race if you ask me. We started in 22nd place and uh, was able to um, recover from 22nd and get up to 10th place. So our last time was 120.2. We finished 26.9 seconds behind Hamilton, who was the race winner. Vettel finishing in 6th place. Uh, our rivals, we did now do him, which was a shame, but I wasn't really expecting to. Let's advance. We are in third place still in the Drivers' Championship, which is nice, see, even though we did only pick up a point and Vettel finished si uh, sixth. He is catching us up now, big time now. We are 51 points behind Lewis Hamilton. That's extended a uh, heck of a lot more than initially was. And uh, Rosberg's 27 behind him. We are now down to fourth place in the, in the Constructors' Championship. Uh, with myself only getting points this race, Gro Grosjean only managed to finish 14th. We are down to 4th place. So if we can stay in the top 5, that will be uh, nice enough to see. So, let's see how many resource points on that we get and uh, whether we are leading the rivalry against Vettel. I do doubt that we are, though. So we got 455 resource points in the bank and we get a few extras, now being the first driver at Haas. Let's see how the rivalry update is doing against Vettel. He's leading at 14.30 in Harrison to us having 4.30. So uh, a lot of work to do for us to try and uh, make it 1-1 in terms of the rivalry against him. Driver's position then, we do finish uh, above the session goal. They beat Roman Grosjean and we are still 15th and above target in the driver's championship in terms of where we're going to finish. Career score, let's have a look at that as well. Actually, I just completely skipped past it. We've got my agent talking to me now. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Um, I didn't think I'd be doing that well as of late. Anyway, that pretty much brings an end to this episode. Uh, the team are late to do your performance. You're well above expectations. And we did get 124 resource points for finishing where we did in the race. That will actually now allow us to get another 
uh, part of the fuel efficiency reshape combustion chamber. Uh, so we will go ahead and do that and develop that upgrade and get it ready for the next race in uh, Baku, I do believe. We are currently in third place, 71 points and uh, 51 behind Lewis Hamilton. Vettel closing the gap to us, but we are still managing to hold on to third place in the Drivers' Ch Championship for now. In terms of constructors, we are uh, now down into fourth place, 75 points, 142 behind Mercedes, and uh, doubt we're going to be holding on to this whole place so much longer with Williams rearing down our neck. But if we finish in the top five hundred constructors, I'd be quite happy with that. I'm sure the team would be as well. Trophy room, this is how it looks. Fifth place in Australia, two wins in Russia and Bahrain, fifth place in China, 11th place in Spain, and obviously we did manage to pick up a point in Monte Carlo. We're not actually heading to uh, Baku next, we're heading to Canada for the Canadian Grand Prix in Montreal, so look forward to that to be uploaded next Tuesday. That's pretty much it from me, I have been the Anything Turk, thank you very much for watching this video, link in the description below to all the videos done in the series so far, and uh, yeah, take care guys, peace. Yeah.